Welcome back. We're going to take a look at game week 12 and even further down the road uh, with this week's value picks. Um, with Jalen Johnson going down for the Hawks, the main beneficiaries have been Bogdan Bogdanovich and A.J. Griffin. Uh, I'm going to talk about Griffin first. So as of right now, looking at game logs, he's really struggled last game uh, 0 for 8 from the field, the game before that 0 for 5. Uh, he's not that bad. If you look at his last year's stats, he was a 46% shooter, 39 from 3, 89 from the line. I think he's going to get it going. Uh, he's up to 15 minutes the last game, entering the rotation. Uh, as you can see here, him and Matthews both up. Upcoming schedule, so they've got the Spurs tonight, a bad defensive team, so he could pop tonight. You'll want to get him before that happens. And then over the weekend, he goes to Milwaukee, another bottom 10 defense, uh, matched up against his dad, who coaches the Bucks. Uh, this could be one of those games where, hey, i got to prove it to my dad. Um, revenge game kind of narrative, but in a different sense. And uh, I think he's a great ad right now. He is currently sitting at $3. He's a 5 for an L10. And if you look at his game logs over the course of the season, he's played 11 games. Nothing good, so it's not like it's going to go flying up. A lot of zeros and sixes and a negative two in there. Uh, yeah, grab this guy. As far as Bogdanovich goes, um, I think he's a good grab right now. He's a 1.11 point per minute guy. His minutes on the season are just 26. But if you look at the last two games with Johnson out, 32 and 31 minutes. So he, he's increasing about you know, 15% right now, minutes. Um, schedule, same as with uh, A.J. Griffin is uh, the Spurs tonight, and then Milwaukee, neither team guard very well. Uh, this is a guy that, if you look at his game logs, he can get up to his top this year is over 47. Right now he's a 30 L10, and it uh, looks like it's pretty steady. You know, he's just, he's just uh, consistently getting you in that 30 to 35 range. Has his bad his bad games. His floor is like low twenties. Um, not a terrible guy to have. Only one game this weekend, but it could be a good one. And he's still only five dollars. Golden State becomes interesting uh, on Tuesday. Chris Paul played five minutes before leaving the game with a bruised lower leg. He's already been ruled out tonight. Uh, Gary Payton tore his calf. He's going to be out a long time. He played seventeen minutes. Um, as far as Paul's concerned he hasn't missed a game if we look at uh, Peyton his main beneficiaries when he's been out have been Trace Jackson Davis Corey Joseph and the rookie Brandon Podzim Podzimski uh, anyway I think actually Podzimski gets the first crack at it but Joseph's kind of interesting to me uh, right now he's a 13 L10 but if you look at it that's because last year at the end of the year He's only played eight games, so we're still we'll still we're still working off of the two last games of last season, and he has a 37 and a 20, so those will be coming off the books. Uh, let's look at his game logs. He is putting up you know 10, 12 points here and there, not playing very many minutes. Uh, if they really want to run pick and roll, uh, he's a 0.82, so not awful. And uh, at $1.44, I think he might be worth a grab just as a flyer. I try to refrain from taking victory laps here, but uh, this Justin Holiday play this week really worked out, and I think you can play him going forward. Aaron Gordon's still out, uh, probably coming back pretty soon, but even with Murray back in the lineup, Holiday's still playing some decent minutes. Played 26 last night, came up with 30 points. Um, he's now played 10 games on the year, so all these low scores are counted right now. Um, his L10 is going to be a 10, uh, depending on what he does next game. Could go up just a hair, but still, if he's scoring in the high teens or in the 20s or even 30 like last night, great play for next week and then maybe the next couple. Oh, here's an interesting one for you. Okay, so our old friend Jeff Green uh, played Denver last night. His old team from last year uh, popped for 25 points. Um, they played Denver earlier in the season, and he popped for 27.8. So if they could just play Denver every week, uh, that would be great for you because his L10 is pretty low. 
and getting lower because this first Denver game is going to be coming off the books soon. Um, and if we look at their schedule, Houston has two tough matchups, so hopefully he scores very little in both of those. And then they get Denver again. So if you want to hold him for a couple game weeks, um, pick him up at $1.80. I think uh, for that Denver game, he will be a good play. Vince Williams I talked about a few videos ago, um, hoping he could crack that Memphis rotation as he was scoring over a point a minute at the time. Um, he seems to have taken John Conchar's minutes. Uh, he played almost 20 last night, put up 15 points. Uh, I think he's interesting because of a couple of things. Um, first of all, he has a, let's see, he has a 28 his last game last season. And he's played nine games this season, which means his next game, this 28, will drop off. His L10 should fall into the single digits again. If he can continue to get some minutes, I think this is a guy that can come out ahead for you. Also doesn't hurt that coming out of the break, uh, his next game next week, he has two this weekend, Dallas and Phoenix, so you get a couple cracks at it, and then he gets the lowly Pistons uh, in the next game week. Kyle Lowry coming off a nice game last time out uh, against the Bucks. Um, his L10 is up to 27.72, but this next game, his top score of the season will drop off. That 42 is gone. His L10 should drop a couple points, and he does have Indiana this weekend, one of the worst defensive teams in the league. Um, he's inconsistent, so uh, he's got three games over 40, one over 30, and then everything else usually in the low 20s, but he'll lay an egg here and there. So uh, they are really banged up. Uh, Miami has Bam game time decision, Jimmy game time decision, Duncan Robinson game time decision, Highsmith game time decision, Hero still out, Hampton out, Smith out for the season. So backcourt minutes are there. Um, you know, he's played quite a few the last couple of games. He seems to be one of their only healthy options, so you may want to take a look at him this weekend. Nick Batum injured his finger during last game. Robert Covington came in and swooped up his minutes. Played uh, almost 30. Four for five from the field. Four for four from three. 29 points. Um, so he's an 18, I believe, right now. He's actually going to be going up. He'll probably be at least 19, maybe 20 going forward. Um, but with the schedule this weekend, Philly is in Boston. Tough game. Um, but if you have them on your roster, they've got Washington next Wednesday and then Atlanta at home, both bad defensive teams. So depending on how long Batum's out, if you hear some news, you may want to swoop him up. In Philly, uh, Marcus Morris seems to have uh, carved out a bit of a niche here. Uh, he's played, let's see here, 16, 15, 20, 17. So he was the original fill-in when Embiid sat out a couple games ago, got the start. Um, Beat set out again yesterday, got the start again. Um, he's actually doing all right. Uh, L10 is still pretty low. It should be starting to rise uh, as he kicks the last couple games of last season off of his ledger. And then Mo Bamba, um, Mr. Do Everything but Never Get on the Floor, uh, 1.54 points per minute. He has an L10 of 3. Uh, it's just a matter of getting him on the floor. He did play 14 minutes yesterday, so if you ever get news and beat is out, uh, hopefully they give Bamba some run and you can throw that three in your lineup and get a nice reward. Malcolm Brogdon is back. He's starting, and he's been playing in that 35-minute-per-night range the last two games. Um, he is a 1.22 point-per-minute guy this season. And if you look at his game logs, he should be going up to about 36 in the coming week. Schedule this weekend looks like got Cleveland tonight and then on Saturday night, so one game this weekend, but it's at Utah. They're a bad defensive team. He's worth a look. Um, at Golden State and then Dallas, another bad defensive team coming up in the next couple weeks. So he's a guy to take a look at. All right, that's going to wrap up my Thursday edition. If you like this kind of information, this kind of data-driven analysis on So Rare, go ahead and subscribe to the channel so you get notified every time I put out a new video. I try to do these every Monday and either Thursday or Friday. Um, I like to get them out on Thursdays a little day early for the weekend slate just to give you a head, 
uh, a little head up on the competition. So um, thank you for watching. Please like the video, subscribe. If you uh, have any comments or any players you want broken down, you can throw them in the comments. I'll be happy to take care of them for you. All right, take care.